Welcome back. We are here with Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council talking all things grilling. What a perfect day for this. Oh my gosh. It's finally here. You don't have a coat on? Grilling weather. I know. You gotta take the blazer off? Let's I know. Party. I know. I just, it's, it's so nice. You can almost have short sleeves on. Almost. What do you got but, for us today? Okay, so I'm grilling burgers because it's May, National Burger Month, Ooh. and May Beef Month. So I thought, you know, what's better way to kick off May Beef Month than with burgers because it's our favorite. So I have two recipes. And I got them done so we can put them together. The first one is called a beef muffalata burger. So it's like a, a New Orleans muffalata sandwich. Okay. But into a burger format. So what I did was I took some 80-20 lean ground beef and I mixed in some seasonings to make it taste kind of like a Cajun sausage. Oh, so wow. onion powder, garlic powder, even a little liquid smoke, a little smoked paprika, some salt and pepper, and a little cayenne. Mix it in the beef. Also mix in the beef some sausage, or um, salami. This is like a little hard salami okay, that you sure. right in the deli. I just kind of diced it up, mix that right in the burger, topped with provolone, and then you can add um, shredded lettuce, tomato, um, jardinera, like a jarred jardinera that goes yeah. in the sandwiches. And I kind of chopped it up a little more fine. And then um, olive tapenade. That sounds great. Yes. Tons of flavors going into this burger, but you know what? If you're going to have people over or you got like a little mini Mother's Day celebration, great idea. make these super fancy but very easy using jarred ingredients. So I'll not, be jumping on that. Not too hard. For sure. Okay, the second recipe are called Old South Burgers with a Peach Compote. Okay, and I messed up because I should have made these into sliders. <laughs> We like a big burger with a small bun. We'll make it work. So I'm serving them on a biscuit. I will take it. Right, so do it make sliders. Otherwise, yeah, we have big burgers, <laughs> small buns. So. And then um, the cheese is actually goat cheese. Okay. It got softened a little bit, and I, I um, kind of slathered that on the biscuit. And then I made it, went ahead and made a peach compote. So fresh peaches, sweet onion, a little beer, a cup of beer. I use a balloon for a little, like, kind of peach mango flavor. Um, fresh rosemary and brown sugar. This seems like a really unique combination. It peach is. Peach and burger. It is. It's that sweet, savory. So you've got the burger, which has got all that protein flavor, the umami, you know, that strong flavor that yeah. we love. And then when you add in the peach, but then you also get the tang of the goat cheese. It's one of my favorite recipes. And, I mean, what's easier than that? Make that peach compote up ahead. Maybe mom would like this for me. Easy. I think mom would like that I one. Do too. That's great. Um, well, hey, Angie, where can folks find the recipes? Remind beef, me. Beeftips.com is our go. Wisconsin Beef Council website. Click right on Ask Seen on TV. You'll find these recipes plus tons of other great bur burger recipes. Perfect for National Burger Month. I'm digging in, Angie. Thank you very much.